In math, there are many different types of graphs that are made from equations, the most common being a linear line, a straight line. There are many other types of graphs, including quadratic, rational, and exponential graphs. However, there are also other graphs that are made using sine, cosine, and so on. These cool graphs create waves, of which can be connected to real-world examples, like sound waves. One wave that is super interesting, made of sine and cosine waves, is the square wave, known as Gibbs phenomenon. Josiah W. Gibbs was an American scientist and mathematician who also contributed to the applications of thermodynamics. He was one of the more famous scientists, even being praised by Albert Einstein himself at one point during his life. Despite being known for his applications on the square wave in 1899, the square wave was actually first discovered 51 years earlier by a mathematician named Henry Wilbraham. This wave was found to jump at discontinuities and would overshoot to a certain point, then decrease, repeating the pattern and creating square waves. Not many paid attention to Henry's findings and dismissed his ideas. Gibbs later rediscovered this phenomenon and added on to Henry's findings, providing further explanation on why this overshoot occurs. This would soon disprove many individuals' beliefs on how these waves are created, which were miscalculations and the use of imperfect measuring tools. Gibbs phenomenon essentially is a phenomenon to the Fourier series, in which it describes an overshoot from the average of graphs. The Fourier series is a concept applied to simplify graphs and average them out. Over a finite plane, multiple graphs are added together until a more averaged out graph is shown. This process is known as linear combination. Although it makes a more accurate average of graphs, there's still some amount of overshoot or discontinuities in graphs. Gibbs phenomenon is known as the overshoot in or the jump in graphs in the four year series that are made through linear combination. This phenomenon may seem useless, however, it's already been applied in the real world. One of the most common places that square waves are used are in hospitals. In hospitals, in order to monitor heart rate and even reactivity of certain body parts of a patient, one of the waves they use are square waves. By using square waves, they're able to measure things including heart rate and blood reactivity with different molecules. Uh, they can also be used to perform di di diagnostics of patients, which can help treat them. Square waves monitor the sudden changes, and and because they are based off electrical currents and movements, they can uh, they can be great for detecting changes or disturbances. With this ability, square waves can also be used to detect sound, vibrations, or different forces. Due to the square's net nature of waves. If the frequency consists and allows for the waves to oscillate at a consistent rate, they can be used as clocks. This can be seen in microprocessors today acting as large as clock generators.